Even though over 600 million domain names, 600 million, Woo! that's right, have been registered, many people aren't too familiar with the technology and various organizations behind domains. Although GoDaddy makes registering a domain super easy, let's take a look at what's happening in that process and why you must register a domain name yourself. lesson, domain registration and moving a domain, we continue our course, A Guide to Domains, by taking a deeper look into the world of domain sales and registration. Let's start by clearing up some misconceptions. You don't actually own a domain. Wait, what? Yeah. No, you don't own it. You just obtain the right to use it for a specified length of gotcha. time. Yeah. Nevertheless, everyone still uses the term owning a domain name, just like I said I own that yacht on the water yesterday. Mm -hmm. Right, 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 right. Domain registrars like GoDaddy act as middlemen to register your chosen secondary domain, or SLD, with a domain extension, or TLD, from a domain registry. Domain registrars need to be accredited by the Internet Corporation for Assigned Names and Numbers, or ICANN, in order to sell domains using specific TLDs from the domain registry. Think of it this way. Domain registries are the warehouse, while domain registrars are the store. And the first step is to find the domain name and extension you want for your registrar. If you're using GoDaddy, which I hope you are, you just need to navigate to GoDaddy.com. Yeah, right here. And search for the name you want and check its availability. If the domain name is available, follow the on-screen instructions to complete the registration process. Suppose you search for the domain of your brand project or business and find out it's already taken. Shoot. Super bummer. In that case, you still have options like switching words or considering a different extension. Another option is GoDaddy's domain broker service. You let GoDaddy know the domain you want, and then GoDaddy assigns a dedicated broker to contact the current domain owner and negotiate a deal, which is awesome. So you're saying I can have my own broker just for me? I mean, that's what I'm saying, yeah. Well, this leads us to an important discussion about domain renewal. As we mentioned before, technically you don't own your domain, you rent it. So if you don't renew your domain fee through your domain registrar, you lose it. Yeah, and this unfortunately happens a lot and most people find out the hard way. Renewals will fail because a webmaster registers the domain on behalf of someone who may not be getting the email notices to renew it. Other times, a debit or credit card expires it's never updated, so the renewal is declined when the charge is run. Lapsing on that renewal will result in an error when someone tries to visit your website. As explained in the previous lessons, the domain is a sign pointing to where your website is located. If the domain is no longer being paid for and the registration fails, that domain information resets. Visitors will only see an error page that tells them the domain has expired. Let's avoid this at all costs. Make sure you are the one registering your domain, not a webmaster, and ensure the credit card you use for these purchases is active, kept up to date, and make sure the email on the account is accurate and actually in use. Yep. So what happens if your webmaster has access to your domain on their account? Or what if your domain is at another domain registrar and you want it all under one roof at GoDaddy? Let's walk through the steps of transferring the domain to your account at GoDaddy. Begin by having you or your webmaster unlock the domain on the account it is currently under. This will allow you to move the domain from the current registrar to GoDaddy. Then you or your webmaster will request an authorization code from that old domain registrar known as an EPP code. And this code will be emailed to the email on that old domain registrar account. Once the domain is unlocked and you have that code, you can transfer that domain to your account at GoDaddy by visiting the GoDaddy transfer page. Make sure you're logged into your account with GoDaddy and navigate to godaddy.com forward slash domains forward slash domain dash transfer. You'll be prompted to enter the EPP code. Once that's done, GoDaddy will take over from there. The domain may take up to seven days to transfer, so be prepared for that gap in time. But don't worry, you shouldn't experience downtime on your website as all the domain settings should carry over. Speaking of domain settings, that can be a complicated and well multi-layered topic. Thankfully, 
we've made this topic easy to understand in the next lesson as we show how domains point to websites and work with email servers. I can't wait. Woo!